Okay, so I, of anybody, can admit that I have been giving a little bit too much money to Miss Kim Kardashian as of late. Guilty. After the Kylie swim debacle. Debacle. That. I simply could not pass up the opportunity to see if Kim Kardashian swimmer would be better. So I missed the first launch. <laughs> on purpose, obviously. It was not by accident. I didn't like forget what day it was launching or anything. That was not what happened. No, I'm more professional than that. I simply knew Metallic Swim was coming next, so I held out for that. That's what happened. Yeah. Why am I crying? Like, why are my eyes watering? Ew, this is so cringe. Anyways, yes, I missed the first Skims swim launch. It was a complete accident. I meant to buy it to do a video, especially because I really wanted to see the difference between Kylie swim and Skims swim because Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, same family. Kylie swim was definitely a moment in time. What is this? And Skim swim couldn't have came out like at the best time ever because everyone was sort of riding on that Kylie swim wasn't that good and then everyone was like skim swim how was that I refuse to believe that that's an accident Kris Jenner has to have something to do with that I just feel like Chris has a say in everything I don't know I just think that hmm. today we are going to be trying skim swim metallic collection Now, there's a lot of personal preference that goes on with choosing a swimsuit and the styles that you may enjoy wearing. I personally have never worn a metallic swimsuit. I will say, if I saw somebody wearing a metallic swimsuit, I would think they were serving, but I would never wear one. Dying to wear a metallic swimsuit. Promo shoots for this launch in particular was pretty iconic. I feel like they were going for like a 70s, 90s vibe on these. I was a little disappointed just because all the models are the exact same shape, which I feel like Skims has done a pretty good job of having size inclusivity the models. Like you're not going to see the same shape model in every garment, which I've enjoyed, but it seems like with this launch, they all be looking the same. Just a lot of small waist Kim Kardashian shape models in this swimwear. But that's just something I noticed. So these swim pieces are offered in nickel, champagne, and gold. All metallic, three different shades. I gotta admit, I nearly did the exact same thing with the same with the first swim launch. I was literally driving on my way to the chiropractor and my mom was like, did you know the metallic swim launch today? And I was like, Excuse me? Immediately pull over to the side of the road and order these and already things were selling out So I'm gonna be trying a few different sizes. Usually I would wear a small. There's a few mediums There's a few extra smalls in here So at first I was disappointed that I couldn't get my size in everything But now I'm thinking it might be good to see an extra small and a medium just to see how the sizes differ a little bit But honestly the truth is it was because things were selling out. Anyways, I think I've rambled on long enough Let us dive into these swim pieces and see how they look on if Kim did better than Kylie at swimmer. Oh, oh my goodness, the tea is so hot. Oh my goodness, I'm guessing that she probably did. <laughs> Hair here to open. Wow, it actually worked. Gim's packaging, we've seen it before. <laughs> Champagne, Champagne sounds, sounds so, so much more luxurious, luxurious than Nicole. Why do I do that? Let's start with Champagne. I got the metallic swim bandeau bikini top and also the metallic swim dipped tie bottoms. Now these were $80 a piece. That's in Canadian. So a very, very pricey swimsuit. It's gonna get even more expensive from here. Okay. Interesting. I hadn't really thought about what this would feel like, but this is very, very interesting. Very happy to see that there is a removable strap here. <laughs> the bar is so low. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so impressed. A removable strap? <laughs> Thank you. Worth $80. Already. Kim, thank you so freaking much for making a lined swimsuit. Appreciate that. I'm not gonna compare everything to Kylie Swim, but I'm just saying one of the biggest issues I had was it was one layer of fabric, which is just simply not enough. So you're not gonna run into that issue here. You have the liner and you also have the metallic outside. Now these bottoms are actually in an extra, extra small, which I, I, you wouldn't normally buy an extra, extra small. This was the only size available. I thought because it's a tie-up bottom, we could probably make it work. And looking at it right now, I think we will be able to make it work. I'll just have these ties at like 
the wits end probably. We're used to it at this point, but we're having a little bit of a small crotch moment, but I actually think this is even thicker. I'm sorry, I need to grab my Kylie's. Let's check. Definitely Kim's is a little bit thicker, and I would say that Kim's is even small. Everything is really well made, like from a sewing perspective. I don't see any loose ends. It's all very crisp, and I imagine this fabric is not easy to work with. See how it looks on bod. You know what? I wasn't planning on wearing my bodysuit. I really wasn't. <laughs> but you know what, Kim? You forced my hand. I will stop wearing my bodysuit when I find some swimwear that I don't want to wear my bodysuit with. You remember how I was all excited about this strap here? I changed my mind. I feel like this is just like taking away so much. Do you know what I mean? This is an $80 top. This doesn't look You good. know what? One thing I will say, representing the nothing on top squad, this bandeau is tight enough and also designed so that I don't think it's gonna fall down. Especially after you like jump in the water and get wet, this is gonna be like painted on, stuck to you. This isn't the most flattering look on me. For, For sure, sure not. Yeah, the extra extra small surprisingly is not too bad. Here we go, we're getting a little bit of a wedgie moment. I'm pretty sure that's by design and purposeful and supposed to happen. Here it is. Nickel was a color. The silver is called nickel. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of copper, like a penny. Oh, okay. Ignore me. Here we have the metallic swim cycle suit. Now this was 200 and $12. That is really expensive. Skims is allegedly produced in an ethical way. I mentioned that in the last video and some of you were skeptic on that, but that's what it says when you Google search it. So I'm going to have to trust that. That price definitely knocked out a lot of shoppers. Like they're not gonna be able to afford this. I got this in a size small, so this should fit me right. Now I think the reason why this was still available is because it's kind of a unique silhouette that maybe not a lot of people are shopping for. We have like the biker short bottom. If I rolled up to the beach in this, all, all eyes, eyes on me. me. There is no padding for anybody wondering. There's no separation on the top if you're worried about that at all. And there's also nowhere to slip padding in if you wanted to. Something about the metallic that like it looks really expensive but it also looks really cheap in my opinion. I don't know if that's just a personal thought. Would the sun like bounce off of this? You know when people have like the mirrors and the sun like bounces off onto them? Would the sun bounce off of this? Cause this is like nearly a mirror. Almost like you're a potato and you wrap yourself in tin foil. I cannot look at this without thinking about movies in space where people are like dressed as aliens. I'm enticed and confused by the fact that this is swim and cycling. Like I like it because my mom competed in a marathon and she was like swimming and then cycling. So you don't really have a long time to change. So if you could wear something that you could do both in, I mean, that's kind of interesting. That is not who I thought Kim was marketing this to, but it's an interesting thought. I'm actually really enjoying the fit. It's just really comfortable and it's also just kind of relaxing and nice to not be worried about something flying out of my swimsuit. Maybe if I took up wrestling, this could be my look. Maybe you like to cover up a little bit more at the beach and this would be awesome. I mean, it's like you're covering up, but you're also being very eye catching because of the metallic Fabric? Take a look. The only purpose I would see this for is if I was being an alien for Halloween, I would like wear this and make like accessories to go with it. Like I just can't unsee the alien can. Look at how the lights are hitting my stomach. <sighs> Next, we're going to get into the gold. Ooh, the gold. Gold is definitely my favorite metal color. Top is in an extra small, it's the mock neck tank. Then we have the bottoms in a medium, mid, high waist, and then we actually got a sarong. This sarong was $130. Interesting. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm being so rude today. I don't know. When I was in high school, <laughs> I was in one of the plays. Unfortunately, only one because I auditioned for the other ones and did not get a part. I remember in the play I was in, you got to like pick your costume and there was just like 
racks of like a few pieces that you could choose from. Now, I don't know about your school, but our pieces were not like the most luxurious pieces. Lots of time the fabrics would feel like cardboard. And this, I could see this hanging up. I could totally see this hanging up on one of those racks. Just feels like play clothes. $130 swim. On one hand, I like Kim's vision because she made something that not a lot of other brands are doing. But yeah, I don't know. These are the bottoms that are going to be a medium, so they might be a little bit too big for me, but they are a very, very high-waisted on the sides. This was the swim top I am most excited about because it- Excuse me. Turtleneck alert. $106, so in comparison to the other swim top that was $80, Apparently this is $26 better. I just don't know about the gold, babe. They really sold it well in the promo photos, giving it that like 70s undertone. All right, I feel like I'm putting on costume wear. Where's the front of this? Ooh, an extra small is definitely tight. Oh my gosh, holy, holy crap. crap. Okay, little head, who's fitting in this? Am I wrong to assume that no one's actually wearing this swimsuit to the beach? It feels like the type of swimsuit that's used for like photo op or just lounging and not going in the water, which is not really my thing. I like to swim, but uh, anyway. We've got a little bit more coverage on the boot for these ones. Pretty legendary if you ask me. Actually, a decent amount of coverage on the front. So thank you, Kim. The top is actually cute. I just feel like it looks really cheap. I don't know. I feel like on Kim, honestly, it looked expensive because she had the big bold hair and the 70s blue eyeshadow, but for like a beach day, it's looking very disheveled. <sighs> oh my goodness, wait a minute, I look so good. I actually don't hate that sarong. Okay, sarong, I judged you a little too harsh. I actually like it. And I actually think the sarong would look cute with like a black bikini too, or just a solid color. Do I think it's worth $130? I don't. Wait a minute. Am I serving sarong right now? Last, but certainly not least, I actually saved this for last on purpose. This was $180, it's a one piece in champagne. And the reason why I saved this to last is because I'm getting like flashbacks, okay? I'm cold sweating, I'm stressed out. Is this not the exact same design as Kylie had? It is just so impossible to figure out Kylie's swimwear. I was thinking of this one, so it is a little bit different. Okay, never mind, never mind, sorry. I just got triggered for no reason. I mean, I'm all for a one piece, and I feel like there are definitely a lot of people who absolutely love one pieces, but I almost feel like this defeats the purpose of a one piece, because I know when I wanna wear a one piece, I'm like, yeah, I'm just looking for a little bit more coverage. I don't really feel like having my stomach exposed to the world, and Kim's like, oh, you want one pieces to not expose your stuff? Here you go. Is that what you wanted? Like, no, Kim. It's not what we wanted. And actually, I'm pretty thrilled with the coverage on the bottom here. I don't think we're going to be flashing the entire universe. Let's just put it on. <laughs> Something about this design of back is so smart with this really, really like minimal coverage on the front. For this to go into the racer bag style is super smart because it keeps the straps on, it keeps anything from falling off. It like makes a swimsuit that doesn't cover a lot feel at least like you're not gonna fly out of it, which round of applause for that because I did not think I was gonna be saying. I feel good about it. It's definitely another kind of show-stopping piece. I can't believe I'm saying this, but my favorite suit of all of them was this like cycling suit. Felt good to me. A, a non-cycler. Non -cycler. I feel, I feel like, like you might, might like, like it. it. My second favorite, which I also can't believe, the sarong that I thought looked like a cheap theater school piece. I actually liked it. It's pricey, but if you can afford it and you've been looking for something like this, I think it's actually nice. The rest of the pieces, I kind of feel like they are how they look. Like if you see, this swimsuit here and you're like, oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful style I've ever seen. I know I'm going to love it and it's totally worth the price. Then it, you will get what it looks like on the website. 
it is what it is. It's good quality, the fabrics are good. You're not gonna like jump in the water or slide down a slide and have it rip. Like these are high quality items in my opinion, so you don't have to worry about that. The metallic is not my cup of tea for me to wear personally, but I will say I would admire it from afar on someone else. And I do actually kind of think doing a metallic swimwear line is honestly kind of fun just because I haven't seen anything like it before. I'm not up, not down. I'm not happy nor sad. Make sure to let me know down below if you guys like this line or what you're thinking. What would make this line better? Let us know down below. Who knows? Maybe Kim Kardashian is watching. Probably not. But if she is, let's give some advice down below. What would make this swimmer line better? in your opinion. As always, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you wanna see more videos, make sure to click the subscribe button. Are you not subscribed already? Come on, please, please, I will, I'll beg. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!